heading off to McDonald's to drop off my resume. What did we think of? We were here. So why on earth did we leave this paradise? Our goal was to spend two months in Mexico working on making content with the goal of getting our channel monetized. After two months of trying, we failed our mission. I totally kiboshed the entire plan. Which means we have to go home. Welcome to episode four. Our time is up in Mexico and we have to head back to Canada because I have been cast in a theater show. <laughs> I am not ready to go back. Go back to Canada, look for jobs at McDonald's. I like McDonald's foods, so that's a bonus. It is almost 100% my fault that we did not accomplish our goal here in Mexico. If we don't figure it out, then you have to go back to work and then we can't be YouTubers and then we don't have our dream. I feel a little bit like a failure. <laughs> a lot like a failure. I'm looking at you honestly and I'm seeing that you're very fatigued. <sighs> This whole YouTube thing has just totally shook my rocker, okay? Because I didn't think that I was this type of person. I really seriously did not think I would just be this weak. And I feel like I am, so okay. I guess that's where I'm at. Today's our last day in Mexico, and now we're heading back to Canada tomorrow because Joel has a job working in theater as an actor. I'm gonna be in Chariots of Fire. What are you making? Margaritas. Well, that makes me a little bit happier. You just cheered my heart. Mine might have less lines. Yes. And more tequila? And more tequila. Yeah. Our last day at La Playa. What? <laughs> but... I'm so sour. I'm sour. Apparently, I gotta work on my margarita skills. An audition came in, oh thank goodness, there was an audition that came in for a commercial that honestly could make or break my situation with going back. I'm just hoping I can book this because if I can book this audition, that's a month like income that we desperately need. I've been memorizing as best I can. Man, getting back into the skill of memorizing. I have this idea of using this our window cover as a backdrop against this. Uh. <gasps> okay, I think that will work because I only need literally just this. Awesome. I could easily get that framed. So right now I got to start preparing for my role in this show. First of all, I need to learn a few dialects. Wait, I have to learn how to count to 400. I have to be running on the stage while I'm counting as fast as I can. In French. In yeah. 40. Here, here I was studying Scottish. You're probably going to be clean shaven. Like you're probably not even going to have a mustache. Almost every play so, Joel's ever done, he's had to like have it, a mustache. It's 1920. I will probably have a mustache again. So I do not have mustaches, even in 1920. But uh, the wind resistance catches more wind. Okay, are we ready to go? I think so. And time to get home. 4,000 kilometers to go. I love driving and just sitting in the passenger seat like a passenger princess. It's an awesome sunrise in Mexico. Joel's so convinced that we cannot bring any meat to cross the border. Have you ever taken meat across the border from Mexico? Welcome to this feast. Okay, I'm definitely starting to feel cold. I've got the passports. Probably not allowed to film this. Should I stop filming? And now, we are in the United States of America. Apparently there's a massive snowstorm hitting Utah and... Utah and... Montana? Utah, Idaho, Montana. Two to three feet of snow in the mountain passes. That's a lot of snow. Two to three feet of snow? Yeah. I'm not ready to see snow! Do you want to drive for a bit? How does that sound overwhelming for you? Try. Yeah. Yeah. All right. All right. Why do I feel nervous? There's no reason to feel nervous. Becca is at the wheel. Our desire is to not get stuck right in the middle of that massive storm. So we decided to take a little detour to a uh, famous little tourist attraction known as the Grand Canyon. So it says, 
So I'm still waiting to hear back from this audition, which is a very bad sign. So I'm still in the process of trying to figure out what am I going to do when I get back to Canada? You can always work at uh, fast food, so that's fine. Let's go get some food. So I've been really wanting to try the In-N-Out burger because apparently it's what everybody gets. And the lineups, I'm telling you, are basically telling me this has got to be a really good location. Okay, so that looks very cheeseburgery. Oh my gosh. Right. The more that I'm here, the more I'm like realizing if I don't get this audition, then I am gonna have to work at a place like this. I better get that audition. Mmm. That is good. So we just got the warning from Siri that we're entering a winter storm. They're leaving the blue skies behind. Look what we're driving into. And I have to make it back for rehearsals. Maybe this is ridiculous. <laughs> Craziest snowstorm. This happened within one hour. One hour, you guys. It was no snow. Look at that fan. It's like, I gotta dig my way. Oh my gosh. Quick, into the warmth. Into the warmth. Oh. I gotta get back to my rehearsals for my show. In the hot air or out the hot air? Out the hot air, yeah. It's hard to imagine that a week ago we were on a beach. Okay, it's a cold morning today as we get started on the road. Driving in a winter wonderland. I think it got a cold just for spending one night after the blizzard in our bed. It wasn't a terribly cold night, but I guess. So this is fun. Are you ready to hit the road? Is that your French accent? That is my French accent. What do you think? Could be better. I'm getting so nervous not hearing back from this audition. When I don't get this audition, that means I have to like work at McDonald's or something. Well, you too. Both work for McKinsey, you too. I can get a job, but I'm done. Working for film. Make way more money. It doesn't make sense for you to get a minimum job right now that you hate. I don't want Joel working construction for film because I think Joel is such a creative person with so much creative vision that I don't want to see him sacrifice that side of his life. I'm really struggling because Joel's like, no, you should work on the YouTube channel. I just feel a little bit, I don't know. I feel like it's... Like I'm just gonna crumple again, you know? Under the pressure of it. Who's to say I won't burn out again? And that's a lot of investment and time that Joel is willing to put into me to be a YouTuber. Okay, we are about to cross the border into Canada. Back home to home Canada. I'm so excited. We are almost home and I get to start rehearsals for a show. So we finally made it back to Canada, back to Rosebud. I didn't get the audition. I think I'm gonna apply for a job at McDonald's. Do you wanna work at McDonald's? At least I like McDonald's food. I literally crave it. <laughs> that is not a good thing. <laughs> if you're working flipping burgers, there's no way you're gonna have any creative energy for YouTube. You no, know, Joel doesn't feel like I should be doing this and dropping off my resume, but I don't think he understands what it feels like. Phil again, heading off to McDonald's drop off my resume in person none of this online is so it's time for me to face the music hand in my resume at mcdonald's let's go here goes nothing so i'm standing here at mcdonald's with my resume in hand waiting. Guess McDonald's really does need help because there is nobody at the cashier register waiting there. I can't do it. But I'm actually, yeah, I'm not going to do it. It's like there's a vibe and a feeling of like everyone is frustrated with their lives. I'm like, oh my gosh, that is going to be me. And now maybe they don't feel frustrated with their lives. I just feel frustrated with mine. realized 
I'm only a failure if I actually quit, okay? But true, and I mean it, if I continue, just means I'm not a failure, it just means I'm a warrior. I got scars. Yeah. Yeah, I'm not gonna give up. I'm gonna give this YouTube thing another goal. And I think this time around, we're really gonna focus on what makes us us and what makes us tick. And you know what that is? Art. Welcome to Joel and I documenting our journey of being artists. Yeah, you're right. We got another episode coming and I'm probably editing it right now.